use his speed and his elbows against someone who is now having his 125th fight. That is no mean feat. So a piece of history in the making here at the O2 in London. And a packed out indigo to see these two men battle it out. And what a privilege it is to see it too. John Wayne Park, the black shorts and the red gloves. And Pavlos Capones, the white shorts and the blue gloves. Five threes. Is starting with a teak, but he's unable to move par backwards. It's strength by the Aussie. You see John Wayne Parr's shorts there, the CMT shorts, caged Muay Thai. This is uh, advertising his own brand. He runs that show uh, over in Australia. Basically fighting in four ounce gloves. Fantastic to watch. But tonight they're in tens. Muay Thai rules, knees and elbows to the head. Both of these men, they carry real power in their punches. Very true. Bonus is quick. A little bit heavier set than he normally fights, like I say. Par just not, par just a bit central with that block. Still taking the effects of that kick there. Par the favourite going into this fight. I right, came right, right across the ropes above our commentary position. The referee doing a good job keeping them in the ring. Yep. As you mentioned, Fabio Pink actually left the ring up in Bolton a few weeks ago. Landed on the desk. That leg kick working well, as we saw with Evan Jays earlier. If you don't block that kick properly, it's uh, you still take the effects of it. Oh, just needs to turn that kick out a little bit, but Caponis utilizing that and uh, honing on on that shot. Again, working the leg there. Just pushing Par off with that jab. Again, that lightning quick kick. Again, again, again. Par getting his leg chopped here by Caponis. A little wry smile from the yeah, Australian. A bit, bit of, uh, it was a bit of um, acknowledgement there of, yep, all right, I'll give you that. Ah, there is the back spinning elbow that uh, Caponis has well, trademarked a little bit. I think come part leg is hurt already. I think it is. Can you recover from those sort of shots or do they last There's a little There's no going back from that really. Really? That's Caponis. Let's see what happens. Round two, goes straight back to the leg. Again, it's working really well, and he's damaged the leg there and throws the right hand. Caponis is doing this. That was pretty clever from Caponis because he just drew the eye line with those two low kicks. And because he threw so many in the opening round, I think John Wayne Parr was perhaps focusing on that. And then the right hand came crashing over the top, but it's really sprung the Australian into life, and he knows that he's in for a bit of a fight here. Perhaps has underestimated his opponent, but. Like you say, the Here's speed is the funnel. Going with, you feel John Wayne Parr's power? Well, he is renowned for his power in the punches. And yeah. Big, big punching power. Parr had 10 boxing fights. Western boxing, he's 10 and 0. The boy can punch. It was a terrific right hand, and uh, Caponis definitely felt that. You can just see the, the change in demeanor. Yeah. A bit of reddening on the body as well. Caponis going back to the leg, though, and that's what he needs to do. That's Woken Par up though. Now we have a fight. Yeah, definitely. It's just looking like one way traffic for a moment, and Par has clicked himself into gear, and away he goes. Yeah, he's laying it on now. Caponis needs to get back to using his movement, using his speed. Get the impression, Dave, that just occasionally, fighters who are planned to take an easy pace for the first couple of rounds are forced into action a little earlier than they might like and whilst John Wayne Parr was perhaps trying to conserve a little bit of energy for a late push Caponis sees early work and early energy expenditures just kicked him into gear hit yeah but Caponis working that leg again that's what he needs to do Parr's lead leg is taking damage Caponis needs to utilize that 
but I think the hands of power are slowing him down. Nice left it and a right kick. Yeah, definitely. Oh, super right hand off the back of a jab from John Wayne Park. Caponis with his back to the ropes, right hand to the body. Doubles it up that time. Caponis now trying to step back into the centre of the ring, re-establish himself. About 43 seconds to go. Round number two here at the O2 in London. The main what event, John Wayne Park, Pavlos Caponis. Can't believe there's only round two of five. Caponis needs to get back to chopping that leg, using his movement. While he stands there and takes punches, Parr is looking strong. Parr almost dipped into a big overhand right there from Caponis. Yeah, you can see him setting the hands up there. It's a good counter right hand from him though. Forward he comes, diving in with a knee. Where's that leg kick gone from Caponis? You can see a massive welt on the right shin of Caponis. Maybe that's why he doesn't want to throw it in so much. Oh, lovely right hand again and Caponis is certainly feeling the power. You can see the left leg of Parr is, is hurt. End of the round. Stronger well, round for Parr there. It was a stronger round, but as you say, is he hurt from that kick early on? It's there just taking on some water. John Wayne Parr ready to go. And that one really caught fire in round two after a good start from the Greek. Yeah, let's see how he gets back on his movement. Caponis using his speed and his movement. And uh, Parr really powered that last round at the end. Coming forward with some heavy hands. Caponis doesn't want to get dragged into a war here. Well, absolutely, and that's kind of what's he, what is in danger of, of happening here. Because of his speed, I don't think Parr thinks he can match him for pace, so he's going to turn it into an old-school brawl. And it's, uh, well, it's making for a great watch for the fans. The elbow right comes elbow in, though. Landing from Caponis. Parr took it well, and he's straight on the front foot again. And as you say, because he's now on the front foot moving forwards, could exacerbate the power of those elbows if Caponis can land one. That's it. it. And because he's coming forward, yeah, like you say, he's going to get caught with that if, if it's thrown at the right time. But John Wayne Parr's hands are dangerous. He's got knockout power. And even if he's not knocking you out, he's taking the steam out of you. Good leg kick there from Caponis again. Needs to get back to that. It was working really well for him in the first round. He's laid off it a bit. He has got a massive welt on his right leg, his right shin, where he's been kicking. But I think these punches have taken their toll a bit and they've slowed Caponis down. Well, they have, and after what was such a bright start too, and Wayne Parr just blocking that kick as it comes in, countering with the right hand, and it's a force behind them. Caponis has slowed considerably. Oh, left head kick there going up, and both fighters smiling at each other in acknowledgement of that. Well, his speed was one of his greatest assets. And there's every argument that uh, John Wayne Parr may have taken that away from him. Couple of heavy shots to the head again of Caponis. Partially glanced elbow off the back of it. Uppercut on the inside, then a left. Wayne Parr looking in control of this one. Yeah, he's Couple pushing to the body Caponis up against the ropes now. Unloading with the hands. He is, and Caponis looking in a little bit of trouble. Counter right hand lands, and Caponis goes down. Goodness okay. me, I'm just surprised that there was... Get a count. If it's just quick and you're down up and you're up again quick, it, you don't get a count. Well, that one landed again, and Caponis certainly is starting to feel the pace here. And 40 seconds still to go in round number three. Yeah, it's not easy. Those punches have been taking the, taking the speed out of Caponis. Nice teak there just to stop Caponis in his tracks and the speed beginning to go out of the the legs and the hands of the Greek. Wayne Parr just telegraphing that right hand. A little yeah, bit I don't too know obvious. He's doing it to set up though. Sometimes he's leading his opponent in by showing it. Throw the left hook, throw the right kick. There's the, there's the leg kick from Caponis, but he's eating hands now. He is, this is where he doesn't want to be. When John Wayne Parr lets the hands go, and Caponis is in big trouble. The standing, the, count now. the standing eight count administered by the referee, and he's looking a forlorn figure in there. Stark contrast to his confident demeanour after the first round, and well, the way he walks back to his corner tells a story in itself. And John Wayne Parr has taken the driver's seat. 
of a wily veteran. John Wayne Parr being there, done it all. And Ford, he comes again. And well, there's sensible from Capodis to go back to that low kick. That was what he had success he with. To do that jab. Move. That's exactly what he needs to do there. Stiff jab, low kick, move. Move, move, move. And the tactical adjustments are really where well. these kind of fights are won and lost. That's it. Great technique there. But Parr throwing in with some venom now. There's a documentary on John Wayne Parr called Blessed with Venom. You can watch it on YouTube. Some opponents needs to do something. He's cutting the nose now. Split across the nose. Don't know if that'll be broken. Well, John Wayne Parr knows that his best chance is to open up with the hands, pressure Caponis back onto the ropes. All the time Caponis has got room to slam in those low kicks. He's effective and when he's got space to move, he's good too. Yeah, but this Caponis is where he's dangerous. Ropes, no. Exactly. This is where John Wayne Parr is dangerous. Move. Hit and move, hit and move. move here we move, go. Move. This is the danger zone for Caponis. And yep. John Wayne Parr will pounce on him. He sends his blood hit. Parr coming in for the kill as Caponis bleeds from the nose. Oh, lovely right hand from Caponis. But Parr responds with an uppercut, then a right hook over the top. And Caponis looks up to the screen. How long left to go? Still a minute and 45 as the Australian stalks his man, teeps him back onto the ropes, looking for that opening perhaps just trying to gather himself for a big rally. Here it comes, the right hand over the top. Caponis responds, Parr with a one-two. Big hands coming in from Parr now. As he pushes his man back against the ropes, this is not where he wants to be. Caponis needs to get out of there. And a case of, I suppose, how much energy have you got to move? Leg kick for leg kick. He feels a little bit trapped in there, does Caponis, and he's waiting to strike. That's better work from Caponis. It was indeed. Needs to chop that leg and move, chop that leg and move. Oh, stiff jab. Parr came forwards on the bridge of the nose of Caponis, then a left, left well kick. Yeah, well-timed kick there from John Wayne Parr. Well, Caponis made of steel. This is anything to go by because he stood up to pretty much everything. Oh, yeah, he's tough. Knee. He's well, been in with some top ties. That right hand potentially bent the knees of Caponis, and he's standing, well, I would say firm, but he's standing at least. Parr, lead uppercut, right hook. Right hand rather than a left kick to the body. 30 just seconds there, referee saying you've got to fight back. The referee Caponis having a real look. Keep taking punishment. He is having a stern look at Caponis, the referee. Nice leg kick there, but he needs to work more. Just misses the high kick and the legs are unstable of Caponis. Wayne Parr seconds, opening up out. now. It's a big combination from him and Caponis is looking a weary and tired figure. How much has he got left as Parr comes in, tries to throw the right hand over the top? Last few seconds of this round. What can he do? This has been all John Wayne Parr at the moment. Big shots. Stunning finish from John Wayne Parr. And the final round of action here, John Wayne Parr and Pavlos Caponis. And I think the big question, Dave, will be, will it be a stoppage for Parr? Will he be able to force it? Or will Pavlos Caponis hang on? Because really, He's looked at points where it's just been his steel and metal and desire to stay in this one that's kept him in it. Yeah, that is the question. The opponent needs to get off the ropes and move. It's no use standing on the ropes with Parr in front of you. That's better at pushing the action forward. One final rally. Oof, and he turns away there in a bit of pain, I think. Just took that leg kick, almost frustration, just annoyed he's getting caught. As he nice. fires back, John Wayne Parr chopping the leg hard himself now too. Parr scoring better in this round, working those body kicks. And look at these hands, that right hook that he does. Oh, oh jumping knee! And Caponis is in trouble here, back to the yep. ropes. This is where Wayne Parr is dangerous. Caponis now. Just trying to give himself a little bit of room to move backwards if need be. Crushing body kick. Body kick. It comes in from John Wayne Parr. Caponis responds. Parr inching towards, trapping Caponis in that corner again. High kick blocked. And in comes Parr. Caponis needs to get out there. So, so difficult. The ring can feel so small when you're tired and when you've got somebody hunting you down, waiting to trap you. And Caponis is going to have to use every bit of his ring now, some generalship, to try and get out of this. Nice shot from Mimba Parr again, out. opens up. He needs to get out. Parr's hands are dangerous. 
And whilst Paz' facial expression really is unchanged from the start of the contest, Caponis is looking weary and a little worried for my liking. This has been a hard battle for both fighters here. Hasn't it just? A really hard night's work. Great for the crowd. Both of them are going to be sore tomorrow. But we've got one minute left in this five-round boat. Nice work from Par there. Jab to the body, then the kicks come in. And Caponis again just trapped in the corner. Right hand over the top. I don't know why Par stepped off him then. Must have let him back into it because you feel like he's only yeah. going to land one and he could open himself up. Oh, spinning back elbow. Yeah, Par looked like he was looking for that left uppercut elbow. 40 seconds to go here. As Caponis takes Par down, but... I don't feel it's enough. 30 seconds left. John Wayne Parr just scoring a little bit better for me. Has he got one last rally in him, the Australian? Plus, okay. we had the 10 8 round. For me, this is red corner, and uh, Pavlos needs to do something spectacular. Needs to let those elbows go, otherwise, this oh. is John Wayne Parr's fight. Lovely back turning kick from. <laughs> Wayne Parr chucking in a couple of techniques there just for the crowd enjoyment, I think, more than anything. And a wry smile from Caponis, but he knows he's been in a real fight tonight. Terrific way to end the action tonight. Surely it goes one way, but Caponis has given a super account of himself.